everyone. My name is Allie. I work for a nonprofit organization called Learning Undefeated. We provide life-changing STEM education and career opportunities to underserved communities. Today, I'd like to take a step back, invite you into my home, virtually that is, for a fun at-home science activity. Wait a second, did you hear that? Our everyday world produces sounds every day, but have you ever stopped to think about what sound actually is? Sound is the energy that things make when they vibrate. These vibrations force the air around them to vibrate, eventually making waves until even the air inside your ears begin to vibrate. Your brain interprets that sound into words, music, or other noises. The volume and pitch of it, however, depends on the source and how much energy is being produced. Sound can only travel to our ears if it has something to travel through though, such as air, water, or other materials. So if you think about it, can sound travel through space? There's no air. Hmm. Okay, so for today's at-home science activity, we're going to be making musical jars, or in our case, glasses. You only need a few things to do this experiment. You need four identical glasses. I'm using pine glasses. You need a metal fork or spoon, a pitcher of water, definitely need water, it's very important, a Sharpie, and food coloring if you want to have a little extra fun. Now that we have all the materials we need, we're ready to start our experiment. So the first step I'd like you guys to do is pick all of your glasses and you're gonna put them in a row like this. Now we're ready for step two. So now I'd like you to take your metal fork or spoon and we're going to tap the side of each of these glasses. You ready? Interesting, they all sound the same. What's happening here, you think? Well, remember, sound is the energy things make when they vibrate. These vibrations cause the air molecules inside each one of these glasses to vibrate as well, eventually creating a wave, and that wave is transferring from the glass into our ears, which we interpret as a musical note. What do you think is going to happen when we add water to each of these glasses? Before we get to the water, we need to label each of our glasses because each glass is going to have a different level of water. So I'm going to start with my one on my right, and this is going to be glass number one. So if you guys take a piece of tape, and you take a Sharpie, I already put some tape on these glasses. We're going to label number one as our first glass. And you guys can see my tape is very high up on the glass. This is because this is going to have the highest amount of water. Once you guys do that, our second glass is going to have the second highest amount of water. So I'm going to label this number two. Number three is going to be a little bit lower like that. And number four is actually going to be our lowest amount of water. We're going to label that right like that. Now that our glasses are labeled, we're going to add water to each one of these glasses. So I'm going to start by filling up number one, and I'm going to go right to the end of that tape. So we've got water here. Number one has the most amount. Number two has a little less followed by number three, which is even fewer, and number four with the least amount of water. Awesome. So once you have your water filled, now we're gonna flare things up a little bit. I don't know about you, my favorite color is red. So we're gonna put some food coloring in each one of our cups. It's not required, but it does make it a little bit more fun. I'm gonna do red for one. Red's my favorite color. What's your favorite color? We're gonna do blue for two. This all also help you guys see the different levels of water that I have in my glasses. We'll do three is yellow. And bring home four with green. So once you guys put some food coloring in your glasses, if you wanna stir it a little bit, you can. Now that we have our water in our glasses, I want you guys to take your metal fork or spoon and we're going to tap the side of each of them. Ready? Whoa, they all produce different notes. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Now each of our glasses is producing a different tone. Well, the sound wave in the glass or those vibrations now are not only passing through air, but they have to pass through the water. So the tone that we're hearing is different. What do you think the relationship is between the amount of water and the pitch that we're hearing? Let's test this out. So I'm gonna start with my red glass, which has the most amount of water. I'm just gonna tap the side here. 
It's a pretty low pitch. Let's try our green glass. It has the least amount of water. That's a pretty high pitch. Hmm. So the glass with the most amount of water produces the lowest pitch and the glass with the least amount of water produces the highest pitch. That's because the molecules that are vibrating to create sound have less water to travel through in our green glass and more water to travel through in our red glass, which in turn alters the pitch. Now that we've learned a little bit about sound, now we can play some songs. You ready? See how this one was a little off? What's cool about this experiment is that you can change the level of waters, ultimately altering your pitch. What's fun is you can add glasses and make bigger scales. You can even drink some water and change the pitch of the note. Pretty cool. For more fun at-home science experiments, visit learningundefeated.org slash at-home science. Until next time, guys, have fun rocking out.